We are back with another episode of our Midway region. This is uh, episode 26. We're still here in the Omega Industrial Sector number one. Got a few touching, touching up to a few things to touch up here. It's mostly for shoppers for these mall levels. Um, don't. We don't need a ton of medium wealth uh, workers right now. But we do need some commercial for some of the ones that, that live in town to shop at. So We'll take a look at that in a minute. No, I'm sorry, we need, we need more commercial or more, <laughs> more workers to cover the amount of commercial that we have. There. That is what I meant. Some more workers here. In fact, we can. Oh, come on. There we go. Because this. Uh. Or mine is going away soon. Apparently, we still have lots of coal. Interested to see what it looks like. <laughs> it's funny we sucked up that whole amount of coal. Same with the ore, we're about out of that. That's no big deal though, we can always import it. We need some of this stuff to grow up here because we still have a lot of industrial um, want in the, uh, in the region. And it's time to upgrade oops, our HQ here. And I think this will fit right up here. Oh, not quite. Oh, it'll fit right over here now. Cool. That will work. So we're going to make another one of these cities next. Um, Either, either in the next episode or the one after that. But um, for now, we're actually going to start sending stuff to this city, or to this great work here. So we're going to send our alloy, and then we're going to have to import metal and crude oil. So let me see here. these out. Crude oil and metal. And now the, the um, <laughs> the, uh, Omega Co. shouldn't steal our crude oil because they're set not to take local deliveries, so. But we should import uh, that and use locally that and import that. In fact, we can even import our alloy. We have a bunch of money. So we're gonna let some of this connect, or some of this just run for a little while, while we gather up enough resources for our great work over here. But I also need to think about what I need to do with the city to, because we need to increase the, the density up here. We need some more, we need like even more low, den uh, low wealth workers. So, I also need a way to get them around the city a little bit better, so I'm thinking I might end up doing maglev in this city. I think we have enough, or we can at least get enough control net to make it, excuse me, make it work. How are these doing now that we actually have people on them? Let's 
surprisingly not too bad. Yeah. How about this one? Oh, and we never fixed these this time we came into the city. Anyway, there we go. Get a, get a better view of what's going on here. As I fix these. There's just not a lot of people using that. I guess everyone else is using like this freeway that comes this way, or this highway, avenue, whatever you want to call it, that comes this way. Or uh, the one up here. But I guess that's what they were built for, too, so. Seem to be, you know, surprising amount of traffic that's doing just, just fine. A little bit of backup here and there. So maybe I don't need maglev yet. That's it's just an extra control net use that I don't need. Not enough Omega. So don't worry about that until they say that and I, and I'm producing like 8,000 crates a day or higher. If I'm actually producing the amount I'm supposed to be producing and they're still not getting enough Omega, then there's a problem. Although, no, yeah, so we put one in here too. And they're producing a bunch. Probably, yeah, this guy's full storage. We're pretty used to that, though. Stuff's not showing that we've sent anything yet. Oh, we need to stop. No, oh, why is there a coal truck down there? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> doesn't take coal, does it? Oh. This sure is a huge backup of stuff trying to get there, though. And stuff trying to get back in the city. So maybe I should do a, some sort of right hand turn here and actually have it come up over here. I think I'm going to do that. I'd rather have it hard to get out of the city than, than, um, than hard to get into the city. I, like I want I want it easy to get into the city. <laughs> and if I delete about three back, I think we're gonna do a bridge on this one. go back to there. But we can delete some of this road. Demolish, whatever. And 
and then this can come over this way. Then we should be able to make a curve. Just like that. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's that texture bug. I'm not even going to bother with it. I could mess with it and mess with it, and it would never get fixed. So, it's because it, it's just a texture bug that that they're having. <laughs> you know. Although, maybe I actually want to go underneath the road here. I kind of want to do that. I think that works with three to go underneath. Ah, uh, no, we need to go back four. So maybe going underneath isn't going to be any closer, but I think it'll look cooler. Which really, in the end, that's the point, right? As long as it looks cool. Actually, I think we can bring this just a little bit closer. Yeah, see, we can get one of these close ones somewhere in here. I know I saw it. Oh, way out there. Oh. Oh. That's close. I wanted it closer than that, though. We should be able to at least just do this. Have this come out from here. And then we can cut this up, cut this off like really close. Like here? And then make the curve there. That actually might work. That, I'm not going to complain with it. works better than I thought. It's a rather gentle slope down and underneath. And through. There. Now hopefully that helps people coming into the city so they can take just right to get into where they're going. Well, there shouldn't be a ton of people trying to get into the city over here. Excuse me, we are still making a handsome profit, and everybody's rather happy. I mean, even it says we're losing money, because we probably are. Because we're buying some, we're buying crude oil and metal and everything to help go to the arcology, but it's or, uh, <laughs> the airport rather, not the arcology. But it's constructing rather quickly, which is great. And this is popping up, just waiting for more density to increase. Yeah, we still need some more low wealth jobs. And I'm hoping to create in the middle here. In here and here. This one I think is going to be mostly residential and medium wealth uh, commercial. And over here I think is going to be a nice high wealth commercial area. Um, I don't know, maybe just all sorts of commercial. Well, I haven't decided yet. But I think over here, I'm going to put the other uh, Omega industrial sector.
Because if there's a number one, there has to be a number two, right? <laughs> so yeah, that actually worked out great. There's little bits of backup here and there as people get on and off the off ramp. Uh, uh, well, on and off the on and off ramps, whatever you want to call them. Sim City, we only have one way roads, so we don't we don't have one way roads, so do what I can. But I do like this little underground highway system. It seems to be working out pretty well. Get people in and out of the city without too much hassle. And of course the tunnels that uh, help connect other things. Some people can get from like highway to highway like this. Or they can kind of come off this way and go over and take care of things. Or I guess I'd have to go back to here. I think I've given people lots of routes around the city. It's like over here, the problem really with this traffic is that nobody over here can get out anywhere. Because I have this big Konkan thing in the way. They can go all the way this way, but they don't want to because they want to go like over here to work or something. So most of them find a way around. Should be doing fine on all the other resources here. Not resources, but all the other stuff. Close on that, what do we need to get to? 92? Picking up 20,000 crates of garbage a day. Cans of garbage, whatever they are, crates. <laughs> Everything looks really good here. I mean, there's a lot of people that are sick per day, but they're all being treated just fine. And it's only treating 65 at a time, 66 at a time. And I'm pretty sure that that's mostly due to this. The diagnostic lab, which, uh, what is it, half the time? Yeah, sick recovery half the time. So, that, it's really helpful. You, all you have to do is have the, um, in order to have it, is, is have the uh, university in the region. I don't even think you need the medical attachment for the university, but you might. The uh, surgical center here does the same thing for injuries. And the emergency center here makes people who are in, uh, y you know, um, ambulances or whatever, you know, injuries that are on the way, uh, they, they have ha half the chance to die, or they have twice as long, yeah, twice, twice the time, twice the previous time until death. There you go. They live twice as long, they die half as fast, <laughs> whatever way you want to look at it. So, that's an interesting one, too. It all depends on what's going on in your city. Oftentimes, I just put down the emergency center for looks, just because I, I like the look of the apartment, or the hospital complex sort of deal here. But, um, you don't, you don't really need it most of the time in your city, uh, especially if you have decent response times for, for your, um, your, um, ambulances. So this one's producing a good amount per day. This one's finally producing a really good amount per day. Not enough places to ship freight. Well, you're just going to have to deal with that until we get this airport built. Because we need to use freight spots. <laughs> The Sims just need to learn to deal with it. <laughs> maybe we'll do, depending on what's on the other plot, maybe we'll do oil in that one. That might be cool.
I'll have to go have a look at that plot wall in the meantime. I'm also hoping that there'll be just kind of lots of tourists and stuff off the bat to make one th pretty thriving commercial area. Because that, that could be what goes over here as well. In the city plot over here. I don't know. Because this, this tiered landscape is really neat, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But then you also have this really big one on a hill right next to the freight yard. Which I guess doesn't matter. It would be, it'd be better to have water. So maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll put people up here somewhere. And we'll put water down here. Like, th this people one will actually be like medium, medium and high wall people. Gotta kind of plan the sections of the region to, to satisfy what other parts of, you know, what other cities might be lacking. It's kind of interesting to think about. Oh, thank you, Chody. <laughs> Chody Wolf. Is that Chotty Wolf? Shoddy? I don't know. <laughs> but thank you. I like the I like that you like the way my city looks. This is a this is a dirty industrial city, so it's kind of meant to look like this. And um, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad these H trading HQs kind of blended in the background of the of the the me medium wealth residential cities, or residential buildings, as well as you know the. Omega or the the metal tower or the metal HQ whatever kind of just sits back there looks pretty cool. I have a bunch of different designs for cities. You can see there's three other cities over here. They're all rather different, and the ones that I build over here are going to be pretty different, except for Omega Industrial Sector Number Two, which will be pretty announced. We're pretty 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 much the same thing. Oh, I pronounced it right the first time. Chody Wolf. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what to do next in this city because I need it to grow some more. Well, we will let it grow some more. And I also need to find a way, because in here, in the middle, there's a bunch of medium wealth people that grew, and I don't I don't want that. I want high wealth. Or, I want low wealth. God, what do I want? I don't know what I want. But I don't know why. I mean, like, I can see a little bit of medium here, but... Man, this got blanketed with medium pretty well. <laughs> Oh, 300,000 people in my city. It's time to upgrade. I guess we'll put in the Department of Tourism just because it'll look cool. People are protesting too much sickness, so we might have to put something on here. As far as these go. I don't want to destroy these buildings over here. Or over here. Yeah, we could put one down here, why not? And they would fit over here. So there, now, now we should have some health vans going around the city, cleaning up germs and junk. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you can see there's a few places that have germs that need to be cleaned up. Is the germs map EU? Oh, 
We are picking up all our garbage, though, so the germs aren't from that. And all of our students are enrolled. Like, we're pretty smart, so I'm not sure why, other than how dirty the city is. Which makes sense, because the city is pretty dirty. And these people are probably getting all the ore, f you know, fumes from right here. Oh, it's 6 a.m. That's why all the garbage popped up. We're actually doing pretty good, depending on how fast this ends up going. We might, might make this. Yeah, see, we're not making any money anymore, though. <laughs> Plus, it's like all stuck in traffic. Two seconds, I'm going to run and grab this beverage while we wait for this traffic to clear out. And I've returned to the same traffic. <laughs> All right. I mean, I understand it takes a lot of people to build this thing, but seriously? Like, that's a little ridiculous. See, just lines of people. And it's kind of moving in. There we go. A little bit of movement. Where are all these other people coming from? Like, where, where could they possibly... <laughs> There's nobody else over on, on this side of the island. So where could they possibly be coming from? You know what I probably should have done here, judging by how many medium wealth jobs I have left, is, man, and this is going to suck, because I've built all these towers the same. Oh, what am I building? Uh, over here, this is the International Airport. That's my, uh, there you go, great work that I'm building. Obviously, we're waiting on stuff to go over, but. Okay, so I need to start changing these mega towers. And this one I'm going to have to change the whole thing on. Once in a great while, and I hope it doesn't do it, when I delete a sky bridge station where there's bridges attached to it, it freezes the game. Just FYI. Nope, we're all good. Once in a great, great while. So, on the bottom here, we're going to put a regular mall level. Because I think it will actually work. Then we're going to build it up like normal. But like these, we're going to take off this apartment level and make it a uh, low wealth apartment level. What were these guys not happy about? Oh, they're coming back from being unhappy. So because these cast so much medium wealth into the area, I'm going to make them more low wealth internally. But I'm going to try to do it only one at a time. Minus this other one that we're going to build up completely from the ground up. Oh, 
Almost. And then we'll build a medium wealth on top. Because, <coughs> you know, the rich people. How does this come along? Still pretty good, actually. Normally, 2,000 tons of metal takes longer to get there. And with all the traffic, I'm, I'm like, really surprised. See? It's just still just so much traffic. Haven't seen cities of the future DLC yet. Oh yeah, sorry, it just took me a minute to parse what you had written, uh, Chody. It's a um, it's a good DLC. At first, I was the same way. I was like, me, I don't know if it's going to be as good as it looks, and it, it is. These mega towers are really neat. They can be annoying and finicky, though, which is good, I guess, because they're. They would be overpowered if they didn't, you know, like, you have to know how to use them. Otherwise, they, they end up dying. <laughs> Excuse me. And I'm still not that great with using them. One of the best things, um, since you've never seen it, I will show you, are drones. So these little... Uh, here, I'll slow it down some. Well, as soon as they come out, I'll slow it down some. There's a bunch of drones that are going to come out of here. See how these... And they're different, different things. What's this guy? Uh, oh, they're just Omega Code drones when they come out of here. But they go into places like this. The drone hangers over here for the law drones. And probably if we watched long enough, we would see a law drone come out of here. But it's gonna, it would be hard to catch them because. There's a lot of drones coming out of the residential and stuff over there. So, it's just interesting to, to see. The, the, the drones go over traffic, though. So, if you see, if you watch... Um, let me find a place where it's happening. Where's some drones and some traffic? Oh, right here. See the drone on top of the traffic? Right, and right here. They're just hovering above the traffic, so... Um, but they, they themselves can cause traffic. I had a city, in fact, the uh, research city over here, on the left-hand side across the street, had so many drones leaving that they would pile up on each other trying to get out of the city. Um, but just the drones. The, the regular ground traffic had no trouble in and out of the city at all. It was smooth sailing the whole way. So it was just kind of weird like that. These guys are all trying to get out of the city for some reason. Why are you... Well, I guess they're even still... There's some traffic back up there, but it's not terrible. It's still really moving. And especially over here, too, it does the same thing. I wonder if they're leaving to go do construction or something over here. Hey, looks like we got most of our stuff back for now. Most of our uh, resource trucks. But it also looks like they're all back out on their way out. <laughs> yep. There's a whole bunch of trucks on that side, too. <laughs> Let's continue building this. Third apartment level. And this one's got a topper. Let's take this out. This is kind of the little bits of tweaking that we're doing in the city to get uh, the residents and the jobs correct. And what's interesting is there's no... There's an airship hangar in each of the cities over here, but they're not commuting from over there. Which I don't understand why. I mean, you think they would. And then we do the Sky Bridge Station.
Alright, level. And actually, while that's building, we can start the next one. What are these guys unhappy about? No work. Moving out soon. There is tons of work. Don't move out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. There's enough work in the city, so. Might have to do maglev. I know I was saying I was going to, and then I wasn't going to, and now I'm probably going to end up doing maglev just because it looks like you're not being able to get around the city so well. Oh, no, we want a park level. Nope. And the high or the medium wall. And then this is the final tower that we need to do this to. That doesn't make any sense. There's plenty of work around you. <laughs> we can actually take this out. Because it's just hardly doing anything now. And then I think we can actually just... Well, what are we going to do with this road over here? a dilemma. How much room do I have back here? Can I fit a high density building and a road? Yes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. This is going to connect here. We're going to take this out. And then we're actually going to do this. Because uh, I'm going to get rid of this four-way intersection. Eh, a little too far. There we go. And then we'll build commercial in here. Over here. And over here. Okay, let's continue this one. Finish this one off. And one more for that one. Now we're making lots of money on Omega. <laughs> 56,000 an hour. This one's producing 7,300 crates. That's good. And this one's not quite in the green yet. Oh, well, we can hook up our Skybridge station here, though. I think we're going to just end up having to do it the same way we had it before. Having one over here. Well, we can hook one up like that. Yeah. That should work like it did before. Do 
There we go. There's a lot of people down here. I was hoping more would use the maglev, uh, or the skybridge, whatever. And I guess they are, but... I also have a lot of traffic right here in and out of the city. Yes, Omega is flammable. <laughs> There's no more capacity at that dump, but this garbage dump has plenty of capacity. They should all be coming here if they can't go there. Let's see what our <coughs> excuse me, our trading is looking like. Still waiting on lots of trucks to be able to get down there and come back. Oh, and no raw ore, which means we probably need to start importing it. Put a topper on here. And I think this one needs one too. Now everybody in those should be super happy. <laughs> Hopefully. Alright, got plenty coming in now. It looks like we're making most of our money from Omega. Which is really just a money machine. everybody coming back from dropping their stuff off to go hopefully take some more. Just wait in line. You can see it slowly but surely it's starting to pop up a little bit. Still losing a little bit of money, but that's okay. I'm paying to help build the great work. I've got a couple months of ore under there. Still got quite a bit of coal down there. I want to be producing more Omega. But I'm not sure how to get those plants to operate at full efficiency other than to maybe throw workers at them. I'm not sure. So 
Because that is one thing that I do need now is workers. And I'm sure, yeah, this mall level is great now. And so is this one. And each of these schools, yeah, is going to teach 2,000 2, students a day. Could put in a sixth mega tower. You can even have up to eight in a city. So I could put another one in. Could also redesign sections of this city to fit more mega towers more efficiently. But I haven't made up my mind yet of what to do with this city afterwards. I think we're going to try constructing the um, the Omega Sector number two and see where we get with that, and then maybe come back and redesign this city a little bit more. We're starting to get. So we still need these to get up to high density. In a city this size to have half our garbage picked up by, you know, 10 a.m., that's not bad. 350,000 people and still growing. Happiness is surprisingly good for not really caring about it for this city. Still says our Omega deliveries are slow, but I don't know how much to believe that because, I mean, we're still increasing our Omega profits. These guys aren't even, you know, that one's not even half capacity. And, oops, this one. This one's actually doing good. So I'm not sure why things are having such trouble getting their Omega. A lot of gold members. It's mostly because of the drones, because we have a lot of drones in the city. And I'm not sure why, but I think... Yeah, okay, they are now. I was going to say, I, th I think the garbage trucks aren't dropping off at this garbage dump. At least they should be. Because this one's full. Maybe what we actually need to do here is have four of the trucks on this side. And four on this side. That way maybe the appropriate trucks will drop off at the appropriate place and we can split stuff up between the two. I'm not sure if that's the way it'll work, but we'll see. Uh, I do have a YouTube chody, um, and it's actually the big red button down at, at the bottom part of my stream. Um, it's also, I have the same username as I use on Twitch. And I do record this for YouTube, um, so every uh, hour or so I break off and Save it for YouTube. <laughs> Which, speaking of, we're about three quarters of the way there, maybe a little bit more. And right, now, see, what I want to see is this start filling up with trash. Oh, yeah, Chody, by the way, I also save most of my stuff as highlights on Twitch. So if you want to catch up on stuff there, you can you can watch stuff there, too, after the fact. Let's 
see how this is going. Still a lot of stuff trying to get there. I mean, that's a long way to back up. It backs all the way up almost to the city. We've got lots of our stuff done here, like a surprising amount. They don't seem to go as fast in and out up here as they do with the arcology. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they do. A lot of people walking, which is good. Still a lot of cars, but traffic is pretty livable. I mean, it's yellowish red in a couple places, but green more so. You know, m mostly green everywhere. Let me say, spots here and there that are red. Usually in the middle of these bigger sections where we get more people that kind of flood onto the road at the same time. Protesting too much sickness. Hmm. I mean, we're treating just about everybody per day. These guys are probably just upset because of the air and ground pollution around them. Because, yeah, see, there's ground pollution all through here that they're upset about. I don't really care about that. These guys are going to, you know, they can suck it. <laughs> These areas are starting to grow. We got one here. A couple there. We got toppers on. Yep, toppers on everything. Let's see how those are going. Just this small level that says it's not happy. There should be like a shit ton of <laughs> low wealth people. So I really don't know how it can't be happy. See, there's four thousand unsatisfied low wealth. They should go to the mall. <laughs> How's this stuff? Uh, still backed up. Oh, oh, it's actually moving pretty quick now. At this particular moment.
Everything moving down the hill. And getting stopped. <laughs> None of it quite made it. <laughs> we have a pretty good bit of traffic here. Does that appear to do okay? Not, not traffic for all that long. Plus, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> Just like I'm not sure what to do with the back part over here. Probably use more people. Of people. I don't think any will grow here. I don't think there's enough room, but oh, all right, a little bit. Not enough omega. Maybe we should turn this into an Omega plant. Or, or maybe we should do one over here. Yeah, I think we're going to turn this into an Omega plant. I'm just going to own this town with Omega. Oh. Not quite enough room there. Let's do it this way. And then I think I can fit three back this way. Well, at least two. It's a oh yeah, there we go. There. Another Omega factory. Oh yeah. Might we'll just infect everybody we can with Omega. Make tons and tons of money out of it. Is everybody coming? Nope. Everybody's going down to it. Are they going to get right in? Uh, no. They get to stop right at the door. Oh, we're about halfway on most of those. So I think what we're going to do is get out of the smelting and coal mine. Well, maybe we'll still smelt stuff. Maybe we'll leave the coal mine. I'm not sure yet. But we're going to definitely uh, rearrange a big section of this, probably between these two roads here, and do something a little bit different with uh, maybe more more mega towers you know maybe we'll have four over here and four over here and connect them all we'll figure that out the next time but if you enjoy watching me live you can follow what i do on twitch and you'll be notified whenever i go live if you want to watch what i do after the fact you can follow you know subscribe to my channel on youtube and you'll see what i do when i do it over at that other place that i do it so <laughs> i will see you all later and i hope you join me next time